In a world where it feels like nothing is as it seems. We'll start with some basic questions. The sky is blue. One plus one is two. 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 Fuck, I thought it was 17. Fuck. In, 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 in. There's at least one truth we thought was indisputable. Bush did 9-11. And the earth is... Flat. Flat. The earth is flat. Uh, I can help. My reality, my senses tell me that the earth is flat and stationary. My senses, my inner being tells me that the earth is a flat as a fucking pancake, son. My, my, my reality. My reality. My senses tell me. My reality. The earth is flat. I don't give no flying fuck about y'all science and shit. The people attending the first Flat Earth International Conference here in Cary, North Carolina, their earth indisputably is not round. Everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing, which is it is not a globe. Come on, kids, sing along. The earth is flat. Please don't look at me like that. The earth is flat. Sir, please don't call me a twat. The earth is flat. Sir, please don't throw that chair at me. Please don't throw that chair at me. Sir, do not throw that chair at me. I'm serious, do not throw that chair at me. But it wasn't until 2015 when this guy, Mark Sargent, posted his flat earth clues. My name's Mark Sargent, and here are my fucking flat earth c clues, man. Here are my flat earth cues. Fuck, I can't even speak. I'm so excited, and I'm so fucked up on everything. Oh my god, the earth is flat. Part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat earth system we live in. Look at this fucking drawing, man. It's fucking science, bro. Do you think someone could paint something like that from their mind, man? Come on, get a clue. Get a Mark Sargent clue, man. You're kind of the, like, father of this oh movement. How, how would you... <laughs> Look at her laughing in his fucking face. <laughs> If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA. What did he say that? You know, FEA. Flat Earth is a university. It's a... No, FEA. It's a... No, FEA. No, FEA. No, FEA. Don't just put some letters at the end of your nonsense and make more nonsense. If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA, then I would be the freshman recruiter. It's like the blind leading Helen Keller. People have traveled from around, actually, Mark would say, across the flat world to a tent. You know, I have a poem about that. It's uh, <laughs> right here. I have a poem about that. We live on a flat earth. I've known this since birth. I'm not okay. I think my husband is gay. You should all be concerned. <laughs> Amy Nicholson wrote a book of poetry about her flat earth journey. Fuck me, she's written a book. Maybe if these people got some fucking jobs or something, just so they didn't have as much free time to do nonsensical bollocks like that. I've written a, I've written a pamphlet about the flat, the, the flat earth. I've written a pamphlet. Kim Gurley came to the conference from Houston. Uh, I haven't really come out all the way yet. I'm still a little in the closet. <laughs> Which closet? Fuck it out. The North Pole's in the middle. <laughs> the North Pole's in the middle. It's, uh, it's flat. <laughs> flat? So help me. I just got my big boy teeth. <laughs> Laney Innovale came from even farther. I mix with quite a lot of flat earthers in, a, in uh, New Zealand. No fucking crazy man. I'm no fucking crazy man. I've got the shirt and the shit. I've got the shirt. I'm fucking massive man. I'm not crazy. I'll pop your face off me. You know flat earthers. I guarantee it. But you don't know who they are because they're afraid of talking about it. One, two, three. We're, We're all still virgins. Like many modern movements, this one has grown in large part out of the internet. With rappers like Odd TV evangelizing to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. No more living on a cartoon ball. 
and YouTube channels like Globusters, encouraging skepticism about what you've been taught. This is getting more traction than it probably should because of the internet. These videos like this one, they're going viral because how mentally unstable the people are behind them. And the fact that they're getting limelight is, is worrying because it is literally propelling them into a thought process that makes them think they're correct. And, and it's painful to watch because they're not. It's a little bit crazy, man. <sighs> so are you certain this is what the earth looks like? Pretty sure. Almost. I mean, there there are some details to be worked out, sure. Yeah, yeah, man. There's some things we we don't we haven't got quite right yet. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, like, have we got any proof? No. <laughs> <laughs> There are some details to be worked out, sure, but the basic concept is sound. We absolutely know for a fact this ain't it. There are some details to be worked out, we absolutely know for a fact, but the basic concept, absolutely know for a fact, concept, fact, concept, fact, concept, fact, concept, fact. <laughs> but we've got photographs, videos, documentation, reams of it. And you've got fuck all but an artist's rendition. Are you fucking insane? Yes. Professor Mike Massimino spent more than 20 days in space and worked on the Hubble telescope. So when you lo looked at the planet, mm -hmm. what did it look like? It looks round, folks. <laughs> you don't believe that they've gone to space? No, no, not at all. This is Apollo flat Earth. We're about to exit the Earth's atmosphere and discover that the Earth is in fact I'm about to get a good look at the earth. Oh, fucking hell. Rob Skiba is another one of the celebrity contrarians in the Flat Earth movement. His popular YouTube videos and podcasts take clues from the Bible's book of Genesis. And so it is said, the fucking earth is a pancake, a crepe, a lovely tasty crepe. Sprinkle the sugar of life all over your tasty crap, my children. Hey, what you doing? Don't crucify me. It's why many of them do their own experiments. Daryl Marble packed a level on a flight to test if the plane was flying parallel to a flat earth. Because yeah, I could tell you something, that, and then you just look at me and say I'm crazy. A lot of people watching this are going to be like, that man well, is crazy. I'm sure they <laughs> probably do. I resent you calling me crazy, you Jezebel. I'll have you know that I let a black man do an experiment on his mobile telephone, you bitch. But in a world of disagreements, large and small, for something as clear as this horizon, the interpretation could be infinite. Next time that there's a Flat Earth convention, I'm going to go all the way over to America and ask one of those fucking morons a question. And when he tries to speak, I'm just going to do this. <laughs>